Hi guys, welcome to another video. For this video, I will show the best rotation that you can use as a tank. I know solo queue is very hard because you will be teaming up with random players that you don't know their playstyle or if they are serious winning the game. But in this video, I will show the easy tank rotation I use whenever I go solo rank. This will surely help you win games because I use this rotation all the time and it works most of the time. So without further ado, let's start. Welcome to Mobile Legends! The first place for you to go is to check whether the enemy jungler is in the red or blue buff. This will help you read and counter their early rotation. As you can see here, the blue buff is empty, so that means that the enemy get the red buff first. I wanted to go to their red buff to get a vision, but the Lithawanderer is in the bottom, so I just helped my team get it. The normal rotation of jungler is if they go to red buff first, the next thing they do is get the blue buff and gank to the bottom lane. The same goes to blue. If they get blue first, they will go to the red buff and go to top lane. So you need to know this also to counter their rotation. After the second wave of the minions, you need to go to where you know the enemy will go. So in this match I know they will target the bottom lane cause they get the red buff first. I made a little error here, I'm a bit late to come in bottom but I did counter it and help my team. There I got out and it's good my team got three kills here. So we won the first team fight. After that, in two minutes the turtle will spawn. So you need to position first before them. You need to help and zone the enemy, especially their jungler. The Alucard did not force to get the turtle, so it's an easy objective for us. But I will show you another example to get the first turtle. In this match, the enemy jungler is Kimmy. She is trying to get the turtle, but I stun her as soon as she will use the retribution. And we got the turtle, then we force a fight, and easily we won. After the securing the turtle, you can now go to your gold laner and babysit. Gold laners are very important, especially if it is a marksman, they will be the main source of damage in mid-game to late-game. So it is important to help them be comfortable in their lane and get items. So here we did force a team fight because the enemy engaged. I was just trying to get a vision, but the enemy forced a fight, and luckily our teammates are close. And we won the clash because our jungler is good, and also ahead in gold. Before the next turtle, you can stay on your gold lane to provide vision and help. But when the next turtle is up, you will need to have again the better position. So in this, Alucard did get the turtle. My ultimate is a little late, and my position is not very good. But the good thing here is we won this clash. We killed Alucard as soon as he get the turtle, and other enemies doesn't have skills to use. After that, you can now help your side laners or mid lane to get a push. Just try to pick off enemies if needed, then go for a turret push. Early game is so important, so having a good early game will set your team control the game and have more chance rate of winning the match. In mid game, you can focus now on going for a team fight, but be careful and use the bush to provide invisibility and to make surprise attacks. Just go for a fight that you know your team has the advantage. After every pick off, your team needs to get an objective. It is very important to be stay ahead of the match and to always be in control of the match. So as a tank, especially if you are a setter tank, you need to use the bushes more to not to be predictable when going for a set. Use the bush to get a good position and land an ultimate set. Another tip is to always watch the map so that you are aware of the things going on. Provide vision and always pick off the right target when having a team fight. If you want a team fight, you can now end the game if your team can. Or if not, Focus first on getting the Lord and then try to end the game as soon as possible. So that is my basic tank rotation that you can use to rank up. You can use this on any rank. I hope this will help you improve and win more games. Thank you and see you on my next video.